Norway's Royal Norwegian Air Force operates a fleet of four Lockheed Martin C-130J-30 Super Hercules aircraft, stationed with the 335 Squadron at Gardermoen Air Station. These versatile tactical airlifters, acquired between 2008 and 2012, form the backbone of Norway's airlift capabilities, supporting missions ranging from troop and cargo transport to humanitarian aid, aeromedical evacuation, special operations, and disaster relief. As of July 18, 2025, the fleet remains a critical national asset, benefiting from recent upgrades, robust sustainment programs, and a proven track record in challenging environments. The C-130J-30 Super Hercules, a stretched variant of the Hercules family, was introduced to replace Norway's aging C-130H fleet, which had served since 1968. Norway became the first foreign military sale customer for the C-130J program in 2007, securing a $304 million contract for four aircraft. These airlifters, powered by four Rolls-Royce AE 2100D3 turboprop engines, with six-blade Doughty propellers, offer enhanced cargo capacity, a range of up to 2,356 miles without refueling, and aerial refueling capabilities. The fleet originally included five aircraft, but tragedy struck on March 15, 2012, when one C-130J crashed near Mount Kebnekaise in Sweden during a NATO exercise, resulting in the loss of five crew members. A replacement aircraft named Freya was delivered in September 2012, restoring the fleet to its current strength of four. Modernization has been a cornerstone of maintaining the fleet's operational edge. Since February 2024, all four C-130J-30s have been undergoing or have completed the Block 8.1 upgrade performed by Lockheed Martin at its Greenville, South Carolina facility. This upgrade enhances the aircraft's capabilities to meet modern operational demands and NATO interoperability standards. Key improvements include a new flight management system compliant with communication, navigation, surveillance, air traffic management mandates, featuring vertical navigation with coupled auto throttle for precision approaches. The upgrade also introduces civil GPS, updated identification friend or foe systems, and enhanced intercommunication systems, improving crew coordination. Additional features include IAMSAR compliant search pattern programming for search and rescue missions, expanded diagnostics, improved public address systems, and covert lighting for special operations. These enhancements ensure the fleet can operate seamlessly in complex global airspace, from Arctic missions to international deployments. The durability of the C-130J airframe has also been a focus of recent advancements. In June 2025, Lockheed Martin announced a significant milestone in wing structure testing validating that the Enhanced Service Life Center wing box extends the C-130J's service life to 122,500 equivalent flight hours. This is nearly 40% more than initial estimates and double the original 45,000-hour design life, ensuring that Norway's fleet will remain operational well into the future. This extended lifespan is particularly critical for Norway, given the demanding conditions of Arctic operations and the fleet's role in supporting NATO and European Union missions. Operationally, the C-130J fleet has demonstrated remarkable versatility in 2025. In the summer of 2025, the RNOAF conducted its first strategic aeromedical evacuation using a C-130J, transporting intensive care patients including two young burn victims from Ukraine, on ventilators. This mission underscored the fleet's 24-7 readiness 
and its ability to adapt to complex medical evacuations, a capability not previously utilized at this scale. On July 14, 2025, a C-130J made headlines by successfully landing on a public road in Sweden, showcasing its ability to operate from unconventional surfaces, a critical skill for operations in austere environments. Recent flight activity further highlights the fleet's active status, with one aircraft observed flying over southern Norway on July 12th and 16th, 2025, at 24,000 feet and speeds of 322 to 328 knots, according to posts on X. Sustainment is a key pillar of the fleet's longevity. In May 2023, the U.S. State Department approved a $166 million FMS sustainment package for Norway's C-130J fleet, covering services through 2028. This package includes joint mission planning systems, aircraft components, spare parts, unclassified computer program identification number systems, telecommunications support, minor modifications, and contractor engineering, technical, and logistics support. The deal ensures high operational readiness and aligns with U.S. foreign policy objectives by strengthening a NATO ally's capabilities. Norway's participation in the C-130J Joint User Group, alongside other operators, facilitates ongoing upgrades and knowledge sharing, further enhancing the fleet's interoperability with global partners. The strategic importance of Norway's C-130J fleet cannot be overstated. As a NATO member with a vast Arctic territory, Norway relies on these airlifters to project power support allies, and respond to crises. The fleet's ability to operate in extreme cold weather conditions makes it indispensable for Arctic missions, while its global reach supports humanitarian efforts such as aid deliveries and disaster relief. The C-130J's role in supporting Ukraine, particularly through medical evacuations, reflects Norway's commitment to international security. Additionally, the fleet's versatility in special operations and tactical airlift strengthens Norway's contribution to NATO's collective defense. Despite its successes, the fleet faces challenges inherent to high-tempo operations. The loss of the C-130J in 2012 highlighted the risks of operating in demanding environments and ongoing maintenance demands require careful resource allocation. However, the Block 8.1 upgrades and the extended wing life mitigate these challenges, ensuring the fleet remains a reliable asset. Norway's investment in sustainment and modernization reflects a long-term commitment to maintaining a capable and flexible airlift force.